Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to composite um, a little girl onto one of my new digital backdrops, which is the the star. Uh, they're a little bit sort of Christmassy, um, but can be used obviously at any time. So I didn't shoot this image with the digital backdrop in mind specifically, but I know I can make it work simply because um, the position works and the little girl shot on a curly layer, but we can blend that into the fluff on the star. So do remember you will get the best results if you shoot with intent, so you try and keep the lighting and you try and keep the surface that the baby's on, um, you know, as close to what the digital backdrop is. Composites are not really, um, you know, meant to take absolutely ages and add to your workload. The idea of digital backdrops for your business is that they actually give your clients more choices, um, but also it shows you, you know, that you can offer something special, but uh, without adding uh, hours and hours to your work. And I've seen many digital composite tutorials which which take ages, and they really shouldn't need to. So. Okay, so let's start. I am going to first of all rotate the star canvas horizontal because that's the way that the little girl is laying. Uh, I'm now going to grab the image of the baby girl and just drop it onto the star. And now I'm going to shut down the image of the baby girl. Okay, so what we have here is two layers. If you look on the right hand side, I'm just circling. You have layer one underneath, which is the star, the little girl on top. The first thing we're going to do is reduce the opacity of the top layer so I can see the layer underneath. And we are going to um, go scale and transform the size of the little girl to fit into the digital backdrop. I'm going to hold down the shift button and grab the corner this will mean that the pro proportions are reclaimed and there isn't any um, funny business going on with distortion. So I am just having a little go at making this look realistic. Now I'm actually going to go to edit free transform because I want to rotate um, her a little bit. It needs to look like she was actually on this star without it looking um, she's going to fall off or she wasn't nestled in there now. She's still a little bit too big, so I'm going to just go down a little bit more. Um, and I am moving her down. Okay, I think that should work. That's about the right size. So she looks like she actually could have been on a massive star prop. We've seen lots of moon props, so why not a star? Okay, I'm going to press enter, and this has now confirmed the selection, and I'm going to increase the opacity to 100 of the top layer, and now I'm going to pop a layer mask on top. So bottom right, you can see I'm hovering, uh, press alt, and the third icon from the left is the layer mask. This will put a black layer mask over the little girl. So that's now covered her up. Um, and we will just reveal the, the portions of her that we want to. So grab a paintbrush, nice and soft, um, a white paintbrush because we've got a black layer mask. Let me just move this down because I'm only recording a proportion of my screen. So I want you to see what's going on. Um, okay, and we will make sure that the black layer mask is selected on the right. And I'm going to just paint her in. Now, the fortunate thing is she was on a pink back drop behind the white anyway, which kind of means this will be even easier. But obviously the texture of the layer underneath her is different. But it doesn't matter because we can make the digital backdrop layer look like it was curly. So we've painted her in. We can see there's a slight tone difference between the fluff that was on the star, it's white, whilst here this has got a very slight yellow tinge, but that's okay because we're going to blend it in and you can always take the yellow out after. So I'm going to go in. So first of all, that's the initial draft. That actually looks okay. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, so the key to making a successful composite is, like I've always said, is making sure that, you know, this line where she joins the fluff that she's in she looks sunk in, so that is retained. So we are going to leave that in entirely. I'm going to switch, switch to a black brush at a very, very low opacity. So I'm going to go to like 26%. And I'm just going to blend in a little bit. 
but I'm not touching the edge. So what I'm doing here is I'm sort of getting rid of a little bit of the curls. There we go. And that looks like she could have been there all along. Now, because she was originally had a pink backdrop behind her, it doesn't actually look like we need to even particularly um, go around the edge of her, but I will just because uh, I feel like I should. <laughs> so back to black and I'm now just revealing the digital backdrop underneath. Now if I went over like this you can see that this is actually doing something. You can't really see it clearly on the screen. Uh, it's a very low opacity as well, so I'm going to increase the opacity and you might be able to see this a little bit more. See now I'm painting in quite a sharp edge and actually, like I said, it's not particularly necessary in this case because what it's actually done is revealed some fluff behind. So I'm going to go back to how it was, soften my brush, change to white and put in some of the original pink that was in the original template. So, job done. That was really nice and easy. Um, if you wanted to, you know, add a little bit of um, an effect now, like a matte effect or a vignette or anything, um, you know, now would be the time to do it because it will probably bring the image together. Yeah, I've got some actions on the right hand side. I have no idea what they are. I, I own so many, I don't really particularly use them. But uh, let's go to Film Haze. So, see what that's done. That's made the whole thing a little bit washed out and sort of very gentle and pale and simple. If that's what you like, great. If not, then don't apply it. <laughs> but yeah, you can do whatever you want, you know, add a unicorn if you like. But uh, the composite was really nice and quick and simple. Nothing to it really. So um, I hope you like the tutorial and I'll speak to you again.